Hello again, I'm Al Paranello, and um, today we're going to be talking with Steve um, about a, uh, a new show that's, uh, that's performing this week, and, and as always, you're going to love it. Steve Steiner, the producing artistic director of Surf Life Theater, um, will tell you about it, but let me preface it a little bit. Um, in 1935, Alfred Hitchcock created this movie, and the movie was called The 39 Steps. It started out with tepid response, but grew rather rapidly. It started winning awards. People were running all over the place to see it. One of those people was Orson Welles. Orson Welles was then doing the, uh, you know, his, his national radio show, the Mercury Theater on the Air, and he actually did a capsulized version of this thing, and it blew everyone away. And uh, that was in 19, that was in 1939. Uh, so everyone who was anyone got behind it as this uh, as this uh, uh, movie because it was just so interesting. However, we're not here to talk about the movie. We're here to talk about the fact that it became a play, and it is a unique play. And this is where I'm going to give it right over to Steve. Steve, tell us about this thing. Well, you know, the 39 Steps uh, is this huge travel log. You go all of these places and you run into all of these people and what have you. And the 39 Steps, the play, as it has been adapted, it's four actors who play about 150 characters that are in the movie. <laughs> and that's the key. That's yeah. the key to this thing. Yeah. And those four actors are, uh, the, the lead is, is uh, named Richard Haney. He's the hero of the play. Uh, there's one actress who plays three women, mm -hmm. and then there's two other actors uh, who play everybody else, including some uh, some of them actually play inanimate objects, but we're not going to go into detail. <laughs> you have to see it to understand what we're talking about. But this thing is just fast moving, rapid, quick, and 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 you know the the uh, here's the deal. Think about it. How do you get 150 people played by four people? You do it by constantly pulling off hats and trench coats and putting on mustaches and 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 changing jackets and all kinds of things and in rapid fire form so that these actors have to, and they are rehearsing out. oh they are and the uh, uh the accents because it, while it takes place in scotland the the people in this are from all over the place and they all have different accents and so uh, especially the two guys that are referred to in the script as clown one and clown two because they're they carry the brunt of of the uh the characters the 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 vast majority of them are played by these two guys uh, who are incredibly talented people, both of whom I've worked with uh, in the past. So we're, we're really happy to, uh, to have them uh, with us and they're having a great time uh, just, you know, creating the mayhem that will, that will make you laugh. Great word, mayhem. Yes. I think that's exactly the right word. Yes. Uh, just to show you how popular this thing has become, Sesame Street actually did a rendition of the 39 Steps, except they called theirs 39 Stairs, and they called it the Monsterpiece Theater production, uh, and, and it starred Alistair Cookie. Uh, played, of course, by the Cookie Monster. Yes. Uh, and they called it a play by, by, by a guy called Alfred. <laughs> now, here was, here was the, the, uh, the version on Sesame Street. Grover was the star. <clears throat> he, um, he, he was in a uh, film noir setting. Uh, he, he climbs a set of stairs, counting each one as he as he goes. Of course, this is how you teach kids how to count. Right? Right, it's Sesame Street. That's and, what and, it is. And then he gets to the top stair, stair number thirty nine, and there's a wall. So what does he do? And how do you get out of this? He slides down the mountain. Of course. Now I think that's pretty original. There we go. And I think it's a great tribute to the to the work that Sesame Street would pick it up. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a good idea. I, I don't know if we have a banister. <laughs> <laughs> so um, just to give you uh, uh, some ideas about some of the reviews, a wonderful triumph of theater about this four person play. Clever, very funny, and brilliantly acted. A joyous version of a Hitchcock classic. Um, a dizzy theatrical game played with wit and versatility. And uh, the New York Times said, spies, a blonde, and a guy. 
go north by northwest, and that's a key. The Hitchcock movies are all sort of introduced in one way or another into this piece. So you'll you'll hear as 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 you go through it. You got to search for this as you as you're watching the play. Uh, strangers on a train, rear window, psycho, vertical. North by Northwest, all how Alfred Hitchcock movies, mm -hmm. and all somehow weave their way into the dialogue of this play. This is going to be a good one, and it's going to be a different kind uh, of play for Surf Life Theater, but you're going to love it. So come see 39 Steps right here, and how do you do that? You simply go to surflife.org or dial this number, 609-492. You still use the word dial? I think so, okay. even though you're punching, yeah, I know. So punch this number, 609-492-9477. Steve, any last words about uh, this? Yeah, when uh, the, the guy starts droning on, just push one, pay no attention to him. That'll take you straight to the box office. See you next time.